more beautiful than the music of Frédéric Chopin. And the word beautiful doesn't really describe it correctly. It doesn't give justice to its uniqueness, to this mysterious nostalgia, melancholy, romanticism that speak directly to our hearts. This music crossed all the borders, conquered cultural differences between nations, and has communicated in a universal language with all of us for almost 200 years. Now, it has traveled even farther into outer space. Imagine looking at our blue planet from far above while hearing nocturnes, etudes, polonaises. A powerfully emotional illustration of our earthly life. Reflecting its wholesomeness, its beauty, happiness, hopes, but also its sadness, tragedies, longings and loneliness, and above all, the vulnerability of it all. The film director Adam Ustinovich gave us a gift, and now, in 2020, cannot, it cannot be overestimated. It's a gift of a look from above on our home, planet Earth. His film, Chopin, Space Concert, is a combination of audio and visual delights breathtaking photos of planet Earth with deeply heartfelt, soul-penetrating music by Frédéric Chopin. It creates an extraordinary epic journey, taking us away from the tiny shiny spot we call home and showing us the grandeur of it from distance. This film concert was produced on board of the STS-130 Endeavour during the mission to the International Space Station under the leadership of a Polish-American astronaut, George Zamka. Since 2010, when the film was produced, there were several, several live concerts accompanying the film. Now we will have an opportunity to watch and listen to it again. It will be streamed online on December 2nd. The Kościuszko Foundation took an honorary patronage over this project. Please watch our introduction, meet the film director Adam Ustynowicz, the pianist Karol Radziwonowicz, and the Polish-American astronaut George Zamka. Enjoy the program and stay well. Adam uh, suggested um, that I fly Chopin music because it was the 200th anniversary of Chopin's birth. So I thought, yeah, what a great thing to do for Poland. So that was the idea there. I have got two friends uh, among astronauts, Scott Parazinski, George Zamka, who uh, have roots in, in, in Poland. In the year 2007, they went to space aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery. It was the mission 120. Uh, they made a uh, really miracle. They uh, saved the project of uh, building of International Space Station. Uh, after coming back, just uh, I have the opportunity to talk to them, and I ask them just if you will go again to in, to space, uh, could we make a film about your experience? Uh, this is something that you have to share with us on Earth. And they said, uh, no, it's impossible. It's impossible because we cannot. Uh, the language is not able to describe the the beauty of of our planet. No, just you, you have to find the idea how to describe the, the beauty of, of our beautiful earth. And I said just instantly that uh, let's take the music of Chopin. And George Zamka watched me and said, no, just I'm quite skeptical. You know, the, there is a mess about the International Space Station. It's industrial in, environment, so there's no place for this romantic, beautiful music. But we'll see, we'll think about this. And after a couple of months, he called me and said, no, believe it or not, Adam, but uh, I was selected as the commander of the Space Shuttle Endeavour 
and I check you know, just the landing is planned exactly on the 200 anniversary of Chopin's birth. So this is the sign from heaven. Give me this record. Uh, I will play it uh, in space. Uh, I called Karol Radzivonowicz, my friend, great pianist. I asked him if he is able to record this, uh, this music uh, to be played in space. Uh, he couldn't believe, no, just he was thinking that I'm joking, but uh, later, of course, we recorded uh, this music with the uh, Sinfonia Viva Orchestra, excellent orchestra conducted by Tomasz Radziwonowicz, brother of Karol. Uh, the director, Adam Ustynowicz, because he has chosen me as a pianist, we are friends, we, I suppose, we feel the same way, artistic way, the music, and the same way we feel uh, the art and he asked me to be a pianist to play this Chopin's music especially for the mission endeavor during the uh, Chopin's anniversary. Uh, I've got surprise for you because uh, there was no time to, to, uh, to send by courier this, uh, this recording so we sent it by internet and George Zamka burned the CD and this is the original, original CD that uh, he burned and he took with his uh, personal items uh, to space. And then uh, they call us, uh, after landing, the crew call us and said, no, just we're right, Adam, no, just it's exactly what we are looking for. This music of Chopin describes everything that we felt. That is awe and wonder and loneliness, everything that could not be expressed by words. It started years ago, it was the year 1969 and the first landing on the moon. I was 15, I was watching the moon and I, I told myself that I, I want to go there, not just to space. And, uh, the, the funny thing is that George Zamka uh, watched the same moon the same day and he also said that I want to go there, I would like to be astronaut. Uh, he had bigger chances to become astronaut, but I, I had bigger chances to become uh, first engineer, but later filmmaker. As a boy, as a child, I would like to be a pilot. Uh, and when I received this invitation, I was really shocked. And of course, I was very happy. And uh, the, the, my first uh, impression was that uh, Adam is joking, uh, and uh, and later he said to me that it's a real proposal to be a pianist in this whole project. So I'm I, I, I'm very happy, and I would say that I'm very proud of of that. So. Uh, they have no time to, to make uh, video uh, about the space station. They will listen to Chopin music. It's uh, interesting that there were three items about the International Space Station deliver uh, to space. One was the little fragment piece of stone from the moon delivered by Buzz Aldrin. Uh, another piece of rock from the top of Mount Everest was uh, delivered by Scott Parazinski, who climbed to, to the top of Mount Everest, and this record of Chopin delivered by me and my colleague artist. So after the landing, they, they brought, uh, they gave me the video that they made, and I started to edit the film. Uh, it, it took me almost two years to, to finish this. It was quite complicated. Uh, but I think that it's worth to, 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 to work on this, no, just end, uh, and this is no, never-ending story, in fact, no, just because uh, in the year 2015, uh, Terry Wirtz, who was a pilot of, the, uh, of this uh, Chopin's romantic mission, he called me and said, no, just, Adam, we have no time to, ma to, to, to make good photographs for you to this film, but I am nominated now as a commander of the International Space Station for six months. So please tell me what we want to do and I will make you new photographs. And he made it. Uh, another, my friend, Soichi Noguchi, a, a Japanese astronaut who was 
uh, at this moment uh, aboard the International Space Station. He made, uh, during the six months, uh, he make amazing photographs. There's nothing better than just really breathtaking photographs. And now he's in space again for six months and he's uh, making next beautiful photographs. So please, you can expect the second part of this film, this time Japanese. And this film is uh, very important because it's, uh, as I said, this is something completely new. This is the never-ending story. No, just I can make for the next 20 years. Uh, this film is quite, uh, quite, quite interesting because, because uh, what we uh, are witnessing is the the timeless music of Chopin and the same feeling that uh, thousand years ago or 200 years ago and the new technology, which uh, brings bring us closer and closer to what they really saw, the astronauts, what they uh, really saw and can share with us. From the black and white photographs during Gagarin time to, to the beautiful uh, 4K and 6K, 8K, 16K photographs made uh, today and in the future. For me, the message is very obvious and very clear because uh, it's uh, the, the project, we would say, that combine the, the, the artistic, the, 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 the high art uh, with the high technical uh, uh, projects. So, so we combine the, the highest art and the highest uh, technique uh, to show uh, what is the way, what is the direction for the whole world for the old people. We have to love each other, we have to share our expression, we have to share our, uh, our art and, uh, and joy together, uh, uh, staying with peace. For, for me, it's, it's kind of, of relation, very special relation between Chopin's music and Space Shuttle. Um, we are living in hard times. This is the, the pandemics, and and uh, uh, and people are locked down and and and, and not uh, safe. They feel not safe, and uh, this music of Chopin and this beauty of Earth show us that we are living on the most beautiful planet on the in the universe. That we are very lucky to, and we can uh, discover this beauty and share this beauty with the others. Uh, and this is the mission of our astronaut. They, uh, this is simply the, they experience the kind of overview effect. So this is the first view on Earth. Now just this is in, it's changed the, 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 the psychics and, and everything. Now just, uh, you are completely different man. It's a kind of illumination, instant illumination. So this is, that's why it's so important to share with us this, this, this kind of feeling. And we can understand, we can discover this beauty within ourselves. I, I would like to, to say that uh, I'm very proud of this project and I would like to ask you, I mean all viewers, viewers uh, to join this project, to, to sit uh, comfortably on the seat uh, with a peaceful mind and enjoy not only music, but enjoy the universe, uh, the world where we live. Chopin's music is something very exceptional because it's understood and really performed in whole societies, in whole cultures all over the world. I think for everybody it, it evokes something positive. Yet the emotion that you feel and the experience together as an audience, you can't explain it. And I think music to an art brings you the happiness from within. Space brings people together. It just speaks to people at, at a level that is kind of like space, unexplainable. It touches the soul.